Coverage you can count on continues with Glenn Marini's Sports Report. First of all, all of Fort Wayne media is here, and all I can think about is Anchorman and you guys going at it right now. <laughs> that's, that's all that's going through my head. If the cast of characters around the Eifert household last night looked like the cast of Anchorman, I guess that makes me Ron Burgundy. One thing is for sure, though, I don't play the jazz flute, and Tyler isn't going to San Diego. The Cincinnati Bengals take it, Tyler, with the 21st pick late last night. This morning, Tyler flew down to meet the media in the Queen City. He's going to have a very important decision to make soon at Skyline or Gold Star Chili. As for deciding his number, he did that today. He picked 85. It's the number that former Bengal star Chad Johnson wore. That jersey sparking Johnson to change his name to Chad Ochocinco. Tyler's probably going to keep Eifert, but it does put him in the limelight. Not that he minds. At the combine, I got asked a lot, you know, are you ready for the, the spotlight to be on you? And, you know, it was, it was on us every single week. It was actually on us year round. There's always, uh, they're always looking for something around uh, South Bend. So, you know, playing on national television every, every single game, um, I think every game we played in this year was sold out. Uh, so I, I definitely think that has prepared me for the next level. I mean, the, the dream was always to play in the NFL. You know, I just, I was going to work hard to, to get there. I just didn't know if I, if I had everything it took. But um, probably my, my junior season, you know, having, having a good year, um, improving my blocking, catching a lot of balls against some good teams. Um, that's probably when I thought, thought I could make it here. Tyler's college teammate, Manti Teo, did not get drafted last night, but should go tonight in the second round.